hello twin flames thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so we're going to do a reading today to sunday today we're about to move into a brand new week and a brand new month we're moving into june and obviously there's a lot of power around right now with that powerful full moon the lunar eclipse in sagittarius that occurred on wednesday so great change ahead. So today we're going to do a reading about what's going on with the energy of the twins. We're going to do later on a weekly reading for the week ahead and the weekly horoscopes as well. But I'm going to start by answering some frequently answered questions because or frequently asked questions because, you know, I know that this journey can kick your butt sometimes. Okay, it's not all hearts and flowers. You have ups and downs, highs and lows and you go through pain. So the angels are saying to you, trust the journey. So even though I've created a lot of videos on the channel for you to go and re-watch and watch again, playlists about separation and why it occurs, how it heals, what the masculine is thinking during separation and what their journey is to union, talking about age gaps and celebrity connections and all the things we go through. But sometimes we just need to hear it again from a fresh perspective so what i've done is i've done i've took a list i've got five questions that or five comments or emails i've been receiving lately and i'm going to just talk about them and then we're going to use the oracle of the seven energies to do a reading today to see what energy you know the the twins are in we're also going to bring in any other cards they guide me to there's going to be a very in-depth weekly reading this week and obviously the horoscope readings so this journey will kick your butt you know it will knock you down nobody ever said it would be easy but do you know what it will be worth it and that's why i'm here to help you to raise your vibration and when you feel like you can't go on when you're struggling and you feel like you know it's over for you and you don't know what to do you don't know what direction to take you may be feeling confused or in doubt or fear because of what's happening and what you're seeing and experiencing in the 3d world that's when we call on heaven so the first question is, how do we cope? How do we deal? You know, how do we get through the pain and the struggle and all the bad times? And the way you do that is by realizing there's something bigger than you watching over you, protecting you and keeping an eye on you. You are never alone. You have angels around you and angels aren't fluffy beings. You know, they are warriors of light. They have swords and shields and power. And they are with you, they are warriors protecting you because you are a warrior of love on this journey. So when you feel you can't go on, ask the angels to assist you. Archangel Michael will come to you and he will pick you up off the floor. Wow, you know, he's picked me up off the floor so many times. So the angels are with you. You are never alone, you are safe, you are protected and you are very, very loved. And when things seem to be delayed or going wrong or not what you want to happen, you're actually being protected from lower energy. And that could be the lower energy of your twin flame. If they are in negativity themselves or in fear or angry and not ready to give you what you deserve. So the journey is created in a significant way to protect you. So you build up your strength because remember that saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And this journey may feel like it's killing you inside, but it won't physically end your life. Okay, It will make you stronger so you get reborn in unconditional love. You realize who you are. You realize your gifts and your talents and your psychic powers. You realize who you are, trusting in your intuition, going within for the answers, realizing the truth that you are a warrior and that you are strong like Joan of Arc on this journey. So the divine feminine becomes like Joan of Arc, strong, powerful, a fighter, a leader, an indigo leading the way. And the masculine becomes like Thor, strong, powerful, you know, in tune with their energy. And they are going through a huge ascension right now to move towards what they want, which is you. So the second question is, why do they choose the karmic partner? Why do they carry on in the karmic situation? Why does it seem like everything's okay and working out and beautiful for them? And I'm struggling, waiting around, wondering what's going on. 
Well, remember, things are not always what they seem. The physical world can trick you. It creates tricks in the mind. That's why in this journey, we have to focus on the way we feel because logic can't work it out. The rational mind doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense of it. That's why people outside of the connection don't understand the connection because they are looking at it with a logical mind, with a rational mind, wanting what's best for you, seeing it as crazy and strange and not normal. But when you're in the twin flame journey, you know it is right. You feel it, you experience it, you know it. So it's a feeling. So you have to feel it with the heart and the heart is about love. It's about irrational thinking because that's what the heart does. In this journey, it helps you to realize your truth that you are a being of unconditional love. And when we get stressed out, when we go into fear, when we worry about a karmic person or a situation or a delay or a block, it's because we're operating through fear, not love. And we're trying to put conditions or put it our own expectations of the way we think it should be or what we think they should do or how they should behave when they are in love with you. And that's trying to put conditions on an unconditional love. And we can't do that. So we have to focus on love, not fear and step out of the logic and move into the love. And that's what the masculines do. You know, they try and try and try to deny the connection because it scares them. You know, it scares the bejesus out of them sometimes. And they are not playing with you. They're just overwhelmed with you. They're overwhelmed by their love because they've never had that kind of love before. They've never had that kind of affection, emotion or even connection before. They've never felt that. So, you know, they're overwhelmed with it. So what they tend to do is run off into easier situations. They try and deny things. They try and find you and other people. They try and move on with their life. But do you know what? They can't because you are the elephant that keeps popping up in the room. You are constantly in their mind, in their heart, on their head. You know, they're thinking about you, having sleepless nights about you, being reminded of you with signs and synchronicities that they see. And it's never about them choosing a karmic person or a karmic situation. It's about them needing to choose themselves. And so often we think they've chosen that person. They've chosen that job. What have I done wrong? Why isn't it me? Okay, why aren't I enough? And you're taking it personal. So families, we have to realize that on this journey, we can never take things personal because there is a reason behind everything and a lesson to be learned. So when the masculines go into their, you know, their caves, you know, their thoughts, their feelings, when they're blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you, they are processing. They're working out what they want. They're working out what this connection is. It's never a bad thing because separation heals and separation comes in to restore the energy of both twins because usually the feminine is depleted. When, you know, just before separation, you feel it coming because even if it's a shock when it happens, you, you know it's coming somewhere inside of you because you feel depleted. You're giving everything, all of your time, all of your energy, all of your love even money, you know, you're giving everything to this person and you feel like they are stripping you bare and they can't give you at that moment what you deserve. So we go into separation so we heal, so we can replenish and fill back up our cup and feel strong and powerful and ready for this love. So we learn that we are enough. So through a karmic situation, we realize that we are enough, that we aren't doing anything wrong. In fact, we're doing everything right, shining our light, being the light out. Because sometimes masculines have to learn lessons before union in dark places. And the feminine's light shines so bright, it will illuminate and light up those dark places. And if they need to go through a dark night of the soul, which means they have to experience their fear and face them head on and understand who they are and what they want and review and renew their life, then they can't have it or do it while your light is present because they have to go into the darkness to find your light. So they go into the darkness and learn dark things and go through dark lessons, you know, with people who are of lower energy. And that's really who a soul teacher is. You know, a karmic partner is not an enemy to you. A karmic partner is a friend to you because that person is actually 
teaching your divine masculine what they need to know so they are ready for you so that they kind of have all the broken pieces and you have the whole part of the of the loaf you know when they are ready for you and what that karmic partner is teaching you as a soul teacher is that you are good enough that you are enough, that you don't need to change, that you don't need to compare yourself with anyone or be envious or jealous of anyone because you are a star shining bright in this twin flame sky, that you are the one. And your masculine knows this. Your masculine knows that their life works better with you in it. So usually when you're in separation or you know when you're apart, the feminine's life will prosper. And the masculine's life will fall apart. Even if it seems like they're putting everything wonderful on it on social media, it looks like they're happy and they're having the time of their life. It's illusion. They're putting on a false mask. It's a false experience appearing to be real. It's false evidence appearing to be real. That social media post or that photograph or looking like they're having a good time. It's all illusion. Even if you see them out somewhere and it seems like they are happy and having loads of fun, they are trying to distract themselves from their pain. They're trying to pretend it's not happening and they wear a mask. So during separation, when the masculines ghost the feminines, block the feminines, they are processing how they are feeling. They're either processing their feelings about you or their situation and how that affects you. Okay, knowing that they have to change their life, that they need to step up because their life works better with you in it. That's why they can drain your energy. And they don't do that in union because they've already filled themselves back up. But they tend to drain your light because, you know, they need it to survive. And they know that they want to have adventure in their life and thrive and live a life. You know, live, really live, not just survive or continue eat, sleep, repeat patterns. They don't want that anymore. And that's what they get where they are. And that's the whole point of this pandemic because the lockdowns and the restrictions have made them face their truth. Being in relationships they don't want to be in and they realise, oh no, I'm stuck with this person. I've got to face the truth. Or they realise that that job, they can't go to it anymore. So obviously it's not right for them. So, so much change coming in you know, being stuck somewhere, not being able to travel, go out, you know, go abroad, do all these things makes them realize what they actually want to do. So it doesn't matter how long you've been on this journey. You could have been on this journey for five minutes. You've just found this channel. You're wondering what it is. You could have been on this journey for a year or two years or three years. And you've been, you know, doing your work. You could have been on this journey more than that, 10 years, 20 years. And you're thinking, I've had enough. But you know what? Don't give up. Why? Because it's all happening now. Between 2020, when that pandemic hit, and I was talking for years about this before to my friends and family, saying something huge is coming in between 2020 and 2024. And the angels will guide you. Okay? And you know, if you spoke to my friends, they say, yes, you know, Liz said something was coming in with the economy and finances and all these things. And it's all happening to move you where you're meant to be. So between 2020, when that pandemic come in, and 2024, as we move into the golden age, this is when twins are coming into union. So forget the past, it's gone. Don't sit there and think, well, I've been on this journey for 15 years and nothing's ever happened. If you feel this love, if you're watching this video, if you believe in your heart and soul and your the very fibre of your being, that this is your twin flame, your divine counterpart, your one, then you know it's real. This is your message now and your sign that this is happening now, between now and 2024. And the ego will grab on to 2024 and say, oh, another three years, I'm not waiting that long. That's not what I am saying to you. I'm saying to you between now 2021 as we move into June between now and then you guys are going to come into union it could happen next week it could happen next month it could happen in six months time it could happen in 2022 or three or four does it matter if you're going to be in union no because it's worth it and as a twin flame in union I can honestly say to you hand on heart it is worth this journey because when you were together it's unlike anything you've experienced and you will be feeling that now. You've already experienced that on some level. But in union, you have it every moment of every day. You know, George is a blessing that's been given to me from God. 
okay and i bless it every single day because he is my dream come true and your dream will come true and that's why i am here to boost you up so when they're choosing a karmic partner they aren't doing that at all they're not choosing themselves and when they finally choose themselves which they will do they will automatically choose you because you are a part of them you are one and you belong to each other so let that kind of boost you up so what do we need on this journey we need patience we need patience and understanding and patience is about isn't about waiting around looking at your watch thinking well i've waited long enough are they ever going to get their act together patience is about believing in this love it's about letting go of expectations how you think it should be or how you feel they should act it's about knowing that you can't put conditions or timings on an unconditional love and the more you want that, the more you, you, you know, you're putting pressure. It doesn't work. It pushes it further away. When we let go and surrender and breathe and we operate through our heart and our soul and we realize everything is happening to grow us, then the, the cogs start turning and things start moving. And yesterday I shared on the community post, you know, that beautiful um, Bible message from 1 Corinthians. And I'm going to read you what it says, okay, from 1 Corinthians, because this just sums it up, okay? I'm on Pixie Power Channel on here, let me just find it, okay? And this is, you know, so powerful, the message is, this is 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 8. Love is patient, love is kind, okay? So this is about being kind always to everyone in your life, because we come here to learn love. It does not envy it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. So the message is love conquers all. So we have to move out of the ego which edges all the goodness out, that brings in all those seven deadly sins like envy and jealousy and pride and ego and fear and all these things. And we move into the fruit of the spirit, which is love and patience and power and empathy and understanding and kindness and joy and all the things we were born to live, learning who we are learning to forgive so this is about letting go of the past because love is kind it does not blame okay and so one of our soul sisters made a comment and i screenshot it and she said my dm once told me never lose hope referring to us and our connection i'm not playing with you i'm just overwhelmed with everything and that's the truth they're not playing with you divine family they're overwhelmed with everything so don't be impatient don't be unkind you know don't be angry don't go into blame don't blame everything including the government the pandemic the karmic partner look within everything that triggers you or hurts you or annoys you or angers you in some way is an opportunity to grow it's an opportunity to become the observer of your life and look at what's going on from a higher perspective so you look at this and say okay why is this triggering me why is this getting to me right now why do I feel that I need it now? Because you don't. It's just the ego creating fear. What if it never happens? What if it's all in my head? What if I'm never happy ever after? What if, what if? And it's fear. When we say to the ego, well, so what? What's the worst that can happen? The ego shuts up because the power is in the now. So when you come back into the now, you stop stressing over the past, knowing now it can't be changed. It can only be forgiven, healed and released the power becomes in the now and sometimes the universe will snap you back into the now by waking you up in other words you know your mind's overthinking you stressing you worrying you bang your arm up or you walk into a table it's because the universe is saying oh come back into the now this is where your power is this is where you're doing the work so patience is the key and it's not about waiting but you have to remember while you're waiting god is working 
you know when when a door closes a window opens there's always an opportunity for change and the creator knows what's best for you on this journey what works for you and what doesn't and what you need and what you don't in this moment so it's about learning to trust and that's why we have angels and that's why you've been guided here because you've been guided by the angels every day focusing on love not fear learning how to adjust your thinking so you realize that everything that's happening is happening for you to grow you and though you're in this world and in this earth plane you are not of this earth plane because you are a spiritual being having a physical human experience and you were tapped in with source you are power strength and light and that's what the angels want to say so the other questions are you know, things are not always what they seem. And this one as well, you know, that people say, maybe I'm just meant to be alone. Okay, maybe it's just not meant for me in this lifetime. Maybe it's just for me. Well, do you know what? I felt like that too. I used to think that too. I thought, okay, my journey then is to help others come into union. It's not for me to be in union. I used to think, okay, well, you know, I'm an independent woman. This is my purpose. And I always knew that when my mum passed away, that would be my biggest lesson because then I'd have to be on my own because I've got nobody else. I've got a sister I don't really get on with and no other family around that's living. So I thought, okay, I have to take control of this. So do you know what? I came on YouTube and I built a family. You are my family. And I gain strength from a soul community who get me. And, you know, I get you and we all get each other because we're all kind of going through the same thing. We're all learning lessons. We're all growing. We're all twin flames, you know. So this is saying to you, you are not alone. And I thought that too. I thought, okay, well, you know, I might be physically alone on the, in this lifetime, but I've got angels with me. You know, I know I'm loved and supported and I will be okay. And it's that mindset that gives you power but it can also drag you down because you think, well, maybe it's just not for me. So you can start thinking like that. But do you know what? The universe has a plan for you, just like the universe had a plan for me. And going through all the pain and struggle and all the suffering I went through over, you know, a big 10 year period in my life, you know, going through catalyst connections and separation and pain and struggle and doubt and fear and healing, jealousy and all the things we go through, the universe had a plan. And at the exact right moment, me and George came into union and everything made sense. And now, you know, obviously my mum passed away at the end of March, which you guys know, I could handle it anyway. Because not only am I a strong woman and I knew I'd be okay because of the angels, it's the angels that get me through. But I've got my rock here, which is George, my divine masculine, you know, twin flame. So the angels are saying to you, you may not think it's going to happen, but God knows it's going to happen. And so do I, because I believe in you and your connection. And most importantly, the power of love. And that's what the angels want to say to you. And that's pretty much everything there. That's, that's kind of covered all five questions in one. So we're going to do some cards now. The cards aren't everything. That's the reading I've just given to you. Okay, that's what you need to know today. But this is extra. And if you want more information, go to the playlist. There's a playlist called Twin Flames, Everything You Need to Know. And trust me, everything you need to know is in that playlist. If you want to learn about angels or, or learn tarot or tap in with your psychic gifts or earn more money, there's all playlists there for you. How to heal, how to grow, how to deal with forgiveness, jealousy, pain. It's all there. You just have to have a look around. Okay, there's videos there about why the divine masculine behaves the way they do. I've done a whole series about that, you know, called Divine Masculine Journey to Union. I've done a separation heal series from the feminine point of view, why the feminines go through this pain and what that means for you and your connection. And the Find Your Way to Union series is about, you know, the journey from heavenly perspective. And, you know, as we move forward, as I go through this move, I'm moving home soon. I'm going to do another series based on the divine masculine dark truths. And I'm going to do a series about the masculine journey to union in more detail. Because that's what we need. We need to understand that they do love us and do care. And we learn this as we go. So what are the masculines going through today? Okay. What are the masculines? What energy are the masculines in today? I'm going to start with that. What energy is the feminines in today? Okay, this is the oracle of the seven energies. Um, yeah, the oracle of the seven energies deck. 
and the journey okay this is what we're going to do so the energy around the masculine today before i even turn the card over going through ascension okay yesterday i thought george would be okay he woke up he felt a bit better he was kind of on form and he was like yes i'm doing my channel and then he went back into this kind of cocoon type healing energy and the masculines have been going through this all week okay and i feel this is going to move kind of come to an head around tuesday Okay, I feel like maybe today getting stronger, Monday a bit better, Tuesday in their power. Now that's what I'm being shown because the masculines are ascending, they're preparing for dramatic change. And, you know, in our house right now, we are preparing for dramatic change. And this is giving you a preview of what's going on within your masculine's life and your connection because it's mirrored. The universe shows you what's to come. So we're going through a big change. You know, we've been in union for two years in July and it's nearly June. So we're going through a big shift and change right now, which is a big house move. And not only the house move here, you know, we're both dealing with it because he's helping me as well with my mum's house, you know, being renovated and, and being ready for sale because, you know, my mum's passed away. So two big things going on. So, you know, this is about realizing the masculines have to prepare mentally, emotionally and physically for a big move. And I'm not saying they're going to move home. This is about a big move or a big shift or a big change in their life because, you know, a lot of the masculines are working out that their lives have to change, especially to be in union with you, their powerful, strong, beautiful, loving, dynamic, divine feminine. They can't just fantasize about it or dream about it anymore. It needs to be their reality. And they understand that on a very deep level. So what are the masculines doing? They're working out how to change. So they've done the planning and they're working it out and the solutions are pre presenting themselves. Now they've got to put it into action. So their body is preparing. So they're going through ascension. So they're going through bodily symptoms, fear. Okay, They're giving me right now because I always tap in with the energy through physical releasing of things and showing you that on the channel. You know, it's just always how I've channeled messages. I use hands, voice, feelings, emotion, and, you know, physical responses because I'm an energy feeler. Okay, as an angel therapist, that's what I do. I feel energy. So I feel and tap in with what they're going through. So right now they're giving me tooth pain, which is about decisions, and they're giving me fear which is about releasing what needs to go, realizing they are safe and loved. And that's why right now it's so important the feminine sends the masculine love from your heart to their heart, connecting, okay, letting them know through meditation, telepathy, connecting in the 5D, that you do love them and you are here. And nothing's going to change that love or, you know, that they are safe because the masculines need to feel safe. And that's why they get involved in these safe situations, their safe zones. And they have to learn to step out of their comfort zone to face the unknown. So the masculine's right now facing the unknown and their body is adjusting. So they may be sweating. You know, I talked the other day about that sweating, hot flashes, you know, pain, struggle, shoulder pain, back pain, pain in the legs, because it's all about movement and change and stability and up rooting their life and that's what they're doing when they're ending relationships changing their job sorting things out with their kids all these things they need to do to be free and available to give you the divine feminine exactly what you deserve which is love real love commitment power so they're dealing with all of this change and it's ascension you know so you know george isn't ill right now i don't want anyone to think he's ill he's going through ascension He's going through changes, subconscious change, because, you know, he's saying to me, I don't know what's the matter with me, because, you know, obviously I'm ready for this change, but it's subconscious, it's his core beliefs being healed, you know, and he understands this on a deep level, he's going through it, and he's showing me what the masculines are going through collectively, because we're preparing for this change, so you're going to start seeing all this change starting to happen as we move into June on Tuesday, so much power flowing in. It. It's going to be a powerful few months, June, July and August, three power months, you know, as we move towards the Lion's Gate portal, big change coming in. So the energy around the masculine today is willing release. Wow, look at that willing release. So they are willing to release. And we've got the beautiful butterfly there for change. They are willing to release and the angels are protecting them as they move forward on their spiritual path. They are willing to release. This is also dandelions or, 
you know, you blow on them, you make a wish because they are wishing for this connection. They want to dream it into reality and that's what they're doing right now. So they are willing to release. So because they are willing to release and they can pretty much put that out there to the universe, their body is shifting. They're going through DNA upgrades. They're ascending. They're going through all this change. So that's why it's all changing. That's why all these emotions are happening. So they're willingly releasing what needs to go and they're sweating it out of them. They're shedding the skin. They're on the loo because they've got solar plexus issues. Okay, they're either constipated or they're going the loo because they're holding it in or they're pushing it out. Okay, and obviously, you know, if they're holding it in, they're, they're trying to hold on to their comfort zone and it doesn't work. It's not serving them. They know it's time to go. You know, they know that they're living separate lives from their karmic partner. They could be trying to get on with it and make it better to see if it covers anything up. You know, I know a divine masculine who was moving all his furniture around every week to try and make the house different as if it's going to change anything. You know, I'll just move the furniture around today to see if I feel differently about my karmic partner, if we get on better, if I love that person now. How is moving your furniture around going to change anything? Or, you know, they, they buy an animal or they do something. They have a baby or they get married or they try and make it right. And it doesn't. It just makes it worse. They get tangled up in red tape. OK, so this is realizing that they are willing to release. We've also got for the feminine a merry motive, you know, a merry motive. So I feel this is a big sign that your merry motive is knowing the truth knowing that they are willingly releasing things from their life. You know, there is a reason to carry on have a, having a motive. And that motive is union, you know, knowing that you'll have what you desire. And it's never about the destination. It's always about the journey, enjoying the journey, enjoying what you're doing, living in the now, being in bliss and happiness and joy, focusing on self, raising your vibration, feeling grateful, going in nature, working on your mission, working on what fills you up inside, whether that's work or goals or projects, doing things for you, not sitting around moping because your masculine isn't with you in this moment, because your masculine is always with you, because you are one, and you're being told that right now, divine family, so let go of fear, so have a merry motive today, merry is about happiness, joy, bliss, the magic flowing into your life, and Merry is also about Merry Christmas. So I feel this also a sign about you knowing you're going to have, you know, better Christmas this time. We've got birds of a feather for the connection. You are birds of a feather and you will come together. That means you want, you're like-minded, you know what you want. And you are flocking where you're meant to be. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So that's like all of us here now being together, helping each other, guiding each other being a support system for each other and the masculines are flocking together too they're being guided they're being guided by ancestors ascended masters and even divine masculines on the other side to do their work they're being shown the way they're being kind of illuminated to their truth they're being led forward they're changing they're stepping out of their comfort zones and it's scary that's why they're sweating and you know, they're shedding the skin, they're moving away from friendships and jobs and relationships that just drag them down, it doesn't serve them anymore, they want to step away from the crowd and flock towards people who get them, the divine family, to build a new life and a new future and a legacy with you, so that's what's happening today, so the angels are saying to you, relax and breathe, let go of doubt and replace it with faith, have patience on this journey and listen to that message. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not boast. It does not envy. You know, it's about love, unconditional, real, powerful love. So trust in the journey. You are loved and safe. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.